Hi guys, so welcome to another video whereby I'll be analyzing Nasdaq and US 80 and I hope everyone is enjoying their festives and to update you guys uh, on that 500 special it's about to end uh, 1st of January and then prices will increase to uh, $200 lifetime on soft payment and the recommended broker is in the description below you can just sign up with them and treat Nasdaq and US 80 nicely with a broker that can give you a 100% deposit on each and every deposit that you make so i'm looking at uh, nasdaq on the daily chart this is our daily bread guys you all know nasdaq has been giving us uh, good money all across the year so we have this overall push to the downside you can see that with many touches at the top of the structure as you can see here we have a touch here we have an ems we have a touch here we have a touch here so initially we are go pushing to the downside and those uh, those uh, touches that I was uh, pointing out those are our higher lows guys and then at the bottom we cater for the lower lows as you can see like this and then most of the time you'll find me uh, not using like this type of uh, way of analyzing just because I think it's uh, making my charts dirty so I just like to focus on this areas here and then remember uh, last time when we were analyzing nasdaq i was looking at this area here for us to continue to the downside i was looking at this as an overall push to the downside corrective move push to the downside to give us a third touch or fail the 90 percent rule around here and then all in all you have this first touch second touch and then third touch and that's a pattern completion so uh, we are still looking for those cells and i can just illustrate with with a pattern around this point here as you can see like this clean charts guys as always clean charts as always so as you can see here we can push to a four hour chart so on the four hour chart what i'll do is that i'll just remove like a few lines just cater for this area here just because this is my 90 percent and then cater for the overall pattern and then as you can see here we also have a clear push to the downside as you can see it's pushing to the downside very nicely structurally and then there's no need to get into it that much and then on the hour chart this is where you'll see uh, me doing my forecasting and all of that stuff so currently i'm expecting a larger flag at this point here and then already guys uh, there is no much momentum in the markets at the moment but like uh, these videos that I post are just for learning purposes. You will get to learn a few things about how I trade. So this is the uh, thought process that I currently have at the moment. And then previously I had like some type of a filter on the M15. You'll see it on the M15. I had some type of a filter so that we can filter out like this expanding that we have here just because uh, as I always say guys, the market does not need to do anything to impress me. I just have to follow where it's going. So I was expecting the market to reach like this double top area to initially push to the downside. So that did not happen. And then what I'm doing now is that I'm reading in between the lines and making sure that I'm going with the market. I'm flowing with the markets. So uh, this is what we currently have. And then back to the hour chart. This is what's happening at the moment. So what I'm expecting is the market to clearly push back to the upside in this point here and then a clear double bottom and then we push back to the upside just to initially complete this overall pattern that's when we can clearly drop up until the 90% rule so that's initially the first trade that I'm expecting and then a sell around here and then my first take profit would be at the lows and then the second take profit would be at the 90% rule for 9% for 9 plus minus 9% and then another scenario that I have is if we clear the slow here if we clearly impulsively clear the slow then we get a tight flag in this point here then I would likely take that tight flag for us to get like those nice cells so uh, let's look at you as deity So on US DT, I'll start on the daily chart. So on the daily, let me just remove everything just because I've been analyzing as I've been doing my, my things. 
I'm always on my charts, guys. So, on USDT, we have this nice descending channel of which it was broken. And as I always say, it was broken correctively, guys. The nature of the market tells us too much, guys. Tells us too much in the markets. So, as you can see, it broke very correctively. And then that corrective move was not sustainable for the market to reach like the overall 90% rule of which is at that point there. So, that is why I'm still looking for those selling opportunities. I don't know up until maybe this point of which is the 90% rule then we can have like a clear push to the downside and then if you look at the previous movement you will see that we had an impulse this could be the larger corrective move to initially push back to the upside so we are just going to gain like that momentum so these are the setups that we are expecting currently the VIP group so this is the double top area as you can see here this is the mass psychology activation at this point here of which it looks very nice and then let's switch to a four hour chart and then if you don't see anything clear in the markets maybe on a higher time frame just switch to a lower time frame so that you can just understand like what's happening you don't need to force things guys most of the time that's what i'm trying to emphasize like on that uh, note and then we had like this corrective move as you can see but what i'll do is that i'll just focus like on the current market structure current most touches of which the uh, these ones here and what i'll do is that i'll just do this so that i can have like my three touches at the top as you can see here we have uh this nice first touch yeah second touch here in a form of an override as you can see and then we had that uh one hour retracement here and then we had the first tight flag on the hour chart so you'll see that on the hour chart and then what i'll do is that i'll just remove this area here so that you can get to see what's happening here so this is what we have currently and then i'll cater for the 90 percent and the overall low of which is here the double bottom here this is a high value area so this is what we currently have and then what i like to do is that i don't want to focus like at this point here trying to uh, impress everyone that i can draw patterns and all of that stuff so i'll just leave this one and then focus on this area here i hope i'm making sense guys now not trying to uh show you that i'm good at analyzing and all of that and all of that stuff so on the hour chart this is where we analyze guys so the same scenario that we have on nasdaq guys now the same scenario that we have on nasdaq a larger flag that is trying to form up at this point here so as you can see a larger flag is trying to form up and then this is the high point that we have that we can uh, make reference of and then we have this uh, first touch at this point here and then we have the second touch at this point and i'm expecting the third touch in this area here so what i'm expecting on this larger flag here is for the market to give us like a ascending channel in this point here and then moving all the way up to that ascending channel you can clearly see that we are going to complete that that touch for us to get like those selling opportunities in this point here so this is what i'm currently expecting at the moment on us 30 and then our sell stop our sell here market execution or you can just wait for that uh one hour retracement candle and maybe put it below structure and then your first take profit on the third touch second take profit on the 90 percent rule remember guys on the higher time frame i said that this can be that overall push to the upside this could be the larger corrective move to clearly hit the 90 percent rule so that's how i'm taking uh US usdt at the moment that's how i'm looking at usdt at the moment and then uh there's nothing more to it there's nothing more to it we're just going to wait and see what happens then this is the tight flag that i was talking about 